Awesome. Okay, so top of the hour here. I'm going to show my screen there and my little thing. Can you see what I'm doing here, Bill? Not yet. Okay, let's see. Show my, oh, show my screen. No, it should, it should be there. Okay, well, I've got uh, my internet's been kind of slow today, so that might be the reason why. But I'll let you know as soon as it pops up there, but nothing okay. yet. Let me see here because I could show my screen. Now I should, I should, should show. Huh. Wow, that's not showing? No, no, nothing yet. Huh, weird. It should just pop up for me, right? Well, I mean, if you're in GoToWebinar, you should be able to see. Did you see some yeah. kind of a message that said, wait until we're about to start or whatever? Uh, yes, and I, I'm looking at the. I'm. I see the control panel right now. Hmm. Um, is there something to press? I don't. Share the screen. I'm. I'm not used to being on the receiving end of that. So. Yeah. No. Normally, when you do it, it just pops up. I never have any problems with it. Huh. Let me try it again here. It says on air showing screen. So. Weird. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so let's, I'll let you know if it does. Yeah, uh, that that's kind of awful. Um, okay, so let's. So if you can't see my screen, then we can just. Oh have, no! Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Now I've got it. Now okay. I've got it. Good. Okay. So um, first, couple things. Let's uh, let's talk about uh, the issue is tonight's webinar, and that's going to be a free one, and three hundred and fifty plus. Uh, 350 plus have signed up. It'll be interesting to see, uh, and this is usually, if we can get uh, over 30%, if we can get greater than 30% of those who signed up to show up, mm -hmm. uh, of those who signed up to show up, we're doing well. That is good. Okay, good. And that's because they haven't paid anything to be there. So they sign up and then they just go, ah, you know, I got to brush my teeth or, you know, <laughs> yeah. I got to go walk the dog, you know. So, but in your case, I'm in, I'm expecting a pretty decent turnout. I figure we get 100 plus people on there. So this, you know, the whole, let's talk about our purpose here. The purpose of this event, of this free webinar is to get folks to sign up to attend event in Vegas. That's our primary mission. Right. So that's mission, so that's primary. Um, let's put that as primary. Extend this a little bit. So that's our primary goal. And let's talk about our secondary goal. Secondary is uh, to get people to buy some stuff. So what I want you to do is every once in a while, it's certainly okay to make reference, you know, to something that is relevant. For example, you know, you're talking about the fact that we're going to cover stuff on audiobooks during the event. Oh, by the way, you know, I've, I've got some of this recorded. If for some reason you can't make it and you're interested in that, you may want to take a look at this and then give them the URL. Okay. Um, so, but that's, you know, that's sort of, this is our primary purpose. Now, I know that when we, I would start, you know, for people to come to this event from any kind of, oh, you know what, you were, how many people are signed up? Two, three, how many we got? Uh, we have guests for the, for the seminar? I mean, how many people have signed up to attend the event in Vegas? Oh, so we're like three or four right now. Okay. So, uh, so now there's something that you, I don't think we've talked about this before, but when you do seminars and workshops, there's something called the heart attack curve. That's what I call it. <laughs> okay, this is new to me. Heart attack curve. And that relates to the fact that you get, and I wish I could draw it on the screen, but if you can imagine a sort of a, um, a curve in which six weeks out from the seminar, it's very low along the bottom, and then all of a sudden, within the, within the last anywhere from 10 to 14 days, before the event itself, you get a big jump in registrations. Now, that would be more apt to happen when you have an event that's local. Given that people, most people are not in Vegas, they're going to have to be traveling. That's why I very much wanted to hit the 
and we set up the now the meetup groups are set up or in the process yeah they set up i'm in the process of trying to to get them to list it as a regular meetup as opposed to uh the difference is you know since it's a one-time event they said we can only have you listed if people are searching for your keywords you know what we did so we, I'm trying to get them to list me as a regular event. Did tell them you're going to do it regularly. I mean, it's just you know. Well, that's... yeah, I told them I don't have my the dates, but I said I do plan to to you know, to do ongoing things there when I'm when I'm in Vegas. Yeah. So the meetup groups, the Phoenix, you know, the Phoenix, Vegas, and LA, allow you to pull people who can make decisions on coming to this event on relatively short notice. Mm -hmm. So if you have an event that's local, this heart attack curve where you get a lot of signups, no signups until right near the end, is, is more common. When people have to travel from long distances, there's a more steady flow of registrations, and uh, that's you know, sort of how that is. But um, I think that these meetup groups you know, should allow... Now, I never had to talk to someone... Personally, on the phone, when I had the meetup groups, I just set it up myself. Yeah, but where you're set up, did you did you like schedule regular meetings or not, or did you post it as an event? I, I, you know, regular meetings. See that that's the thing. I said, you know, this I gave dates and said this is the date. This Maybe is what I'm doing. Maybe we should cancel and and set up a new account or something because we've got. But a, if they if they. Yeah, if they do the homework, I mean, if they actually go and look it up, they're going to see, and I'll be in the, we'll be in the well, same no, boat again, you know, but maybe they'll is, let me anyhow. You can put it up as, you know, our our monthly, you know, our monthly, you know, on Meetup, this will be more, a, a monthly event or whatever that we're going to be doing. You know, just you try and fake them out as much as possible. Because <laughs> do what my, happens, my side move? <laughs> yeah, well, you take a look at this. If we go to meetup, meetup.com, and I put in, and it, I think it finds me. I will log in here. And uh, uh, so let's uh, let's take a look at voiceover. What about voice? Doesn't come up, does it? How about voice? That's one of my keywords. I did both. I thought, try voice dash over too. Um, now, what this means is, you know, now the other thing is, let's move, try and um, find a meetup group. Let's change this to... Uh, Beverly Hills 90210. What's the what's that show? 90210. 902. Well, okay. I don't have the Los Angeles one set up since they halted me on that one. So no, I've got no, Phoenix no, no, now. No, no, I'm you're, you're missing my point. I'm oh, okay. I thought you were looking see, for the Los Angeles. I'm just trying to see what comes up. Oh, gotcha. You know, if there's anybody coming up. Yep. Yeah. It's quite a few. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go to Phoenix. A number of them there as well. You know, they come up for that keyword. I'm not so, seeing mine. I mean, those are the two when I look at, you know, when I look at this and I put in Las Vegas. Send this out. You know, we got Phoenix here. We got LA here. I mean, if we uh, San Francisco is po is also possible. In fact, if we had, you know, it might it might be worth it because this is, you know, I don't know if you know this, but from Las Vegas to San Francisco is about ten hours driving, or I think a little bit less, about nine or ten. Let's see. Uh, it says eight hours, eight and a half hours. So there are some people who would actually drive that, especially since Las Vegas yeah. is a destination. So 
if necessary, it would be, you know, it'd be nice to actually have another one, but I think you get three for the price of, you know, the, for one fee with meetup. That's, that's not, not the way they, they just, that's, that's not the way it is now. They charge, they're charging separately. Really? Yeah. Huh. Unless, unless, I, unless, unless I did something wrong, wrong which, which is all, which, which is possible. possible. I'm not that familiar with the interface, but they didn't treat it that way when I went to set up a second, under the same account, a second group. Sorry, you've already organized three meetup groups. I think you get three for the price one. Meetup lets organizers run up to three meetup groups on a single account. Okay. The, they, they may have charged it. Did they not charge you three different nope. fees, though? One fee. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you need to. We need to regroup on this. Did you give them money already? Yeah, yeah. I've already paid for the two cities. It was 45 bucks for three months. Yeah, see, I paid. Uh, something's wrong here. Anyway, um, hmm. we do have uh, Melissa Motes, who's the local meetup group organizer in Las Vegas. So the biggest group out there has has so far posted me on their group's Facebook page, and I need to reach out to other, um, you know, workout groups. We should and that probably kind of set up stuff. a Facebook page for this event as well. That's something okay. Stanley can do. So or Dave. Can okay. Do. So just ask Stanley to do that because we need to get. Okay. And you also have a Twitter account for this. Because what we want to do is we're trying to get as many, you know, as many of these um, kind of groups, places to be seen. I mean, if you think about it, Meetup is a place where people go to look for, for meetings. Uh, Facebook is where people are a lot of the time. And so we want to just make sure we're there and in front of them as often as possible, you know, just to, to have them find us. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I think that we may want to add, you know, San Francisco to this mix, and also um, it's very possible that that you will be doing over time. You know, I would see, and I think we talked about this. If if this if this went well, could you feel comfortable doing one every three months? Um, possibly, possibly. I could probably be uh, convinced to do yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, once every, yeah, that's, you know, once a quarter or so. And what we would do is we would, you know, we'd dance it around the country. So it would be, um, you know, we would do, we would do, you know, first we'd do Chicago, we would do Dallas, might do Miami, might do Seattle, you know, L.A., Vegas, Denver, maybe. So we have, there's a list of different places and it would be nice to, you know, you just, you know, so it would be New York City, it would be Denver, it would be Dallas, Chicago, uh, Seattle, Miami, San Francisco, LA, Vegas, Phoenix. And uh, let's see, maybe Dallas and maybe something else on there. And Dallas is pretty good for that. I mean, so if we have, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I mean, we could rotate through these cities. You know, if we did four or five a year, we get through these in a couple, two and a half years. And this is the kind of event that if it if it works well, you know, we can do it repeatedly. Um, and it just it just gives you a lot more sort of stature as well. Like you're doing these. And then what will happen is once you start doing them, the residual benefit is that then some of the places, some of the, some of the associations and groups that are out there will see that you do this and then they'll invite you to come speak at their events. Yeah. Once you're doing your own. And the other thing is if they don't want to invite you to come, then you hook your events either onto the front end or the back end of theirs. So, okay. So if they don't want to invite you, you just go, okay, fine. Well, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my event before yours, a couple days before. That's what I did with the storage folks. I'm shocked. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, is that what you got booted out of the association? association? Yeah. But, but, the thing, <laughs> but the thing about it is, is you always want to play nice initially and just say, you know, hey, I think this is value. If they say, well, no, you can't speak, just say, oh, well, you know, this is really valuable information. So I'm probably, I just want to give you fair notice. I'm just going to do mine like a couple days before yours. To give people the opportunity to see what I have to do, what I have to say, you know, 
And then they'll go, oh, well, that's not cool. I'll just go, well, you know, have me speak, and I'm not going to do that then. You know, I'll just make it a very logical thing. It's like people like my information. I want to get it out to them. It, makes only, it only makes sense to do this, you know. And that's where we become the Voice Over Marketing Association, too. Okay. We morph into that. So I think that this is, you know, at least for now, you know, we need the meetup groups. We need the Facebook page for the event. We need the Twitter account. And that Twitter account should something, it should just be set up Voice Over Revolution. So that should function separately from what I'm already what I'm doing with my own account. Well, um, you have your own Twitter account, right? Yes. I would I would register Twitter name Voice Over Revolution as well. All right, all right. That's separate one. I mean, and again, it doesn't have to do. It. But I like the idea of just being ubiquitous, having yourself all over the place, especially for this event. And um, you know, I, I that's why when you got ambitious as to the number of people that were going to show up. I mean, I would rather, you know, have the room stuffed to the gills, have to turn people away for the first one. So that's yeah. why I was a little bit reticent to go with a larger room, but it doesn't matter. I mean, sure. it would be fine. Sure. Um, that makes sense. But, um, you know, I, I think if we get if we get 30 or 40 people, frankly, I'll be happy. Okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be upset if those are our numbers. That'd be fine. Um, but to do that, especially given the, the, given the timing, because we're going to have to hit this hard – right after the first of the year, you know, because we got six weeks to get them in. Yeah. Um, and uh, that, you know, it's, it should be, should be good. Although I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upset, I guess, that I'm thinking to myself now that there may be a lot of people going to Vegas for, uh, for the Valentine's Day weekend for obvious reasons. Yeah, I, I've already been told by the hotel it's going to be a very busy weekend. Yeah, um, but, you know, that's, they'll, they'll figure it out if they want to come to this. Um, yeah. So we've got the event, and that's good. Now, is voiceover 100 VO questions, is that fully functional? Yep, we've already sold. Um, I don't know exactly how many we've sold, but yes, it is. It's up and running, and we're selling it. Good. So, and that's... Hi, I'm Bill. We'll talk about that tonight. Yeah. Um, So that's, yeah, something else you'll throw in and mention tonight as well. And we may want to, as part of this, uh, pick one of your shorter uh, videos and show them one of the answers to the questions. We okay. actually might want to do that on the site as well. You know, here's a sample. We may yeah. want to, like right like here, just go click here to see yeah. a sample. That's a great idea. You know what? I think that we may want to do that for one of each of these four or five. We got five, right? Uh, there's five, five yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do one. Let's make a note to get to Stanley and let's pick one, the one that's the least sort of desirable. Um, for example, like this one. What can I do during my job breaks to forward my voice? Pick one of the ones that's not as as juicy yeah you know like where do i find voiceover work they should have to pay to get that uh under industry um how much do audiobooks pay that's a good one um you know pick pick ones that are sort of innocuous performance do yeah. i need acting lessons that would be fine too um i'm just saying let's give them a sample of each of these and, and I, I can put, put those, those same samples, samples up on my YouTube, YouTube channel, channel too and point back to the yes. Uh, web, website. Yes. Yes. You know, and, um, you know, and the, the one thing that people will ask, and Bill, we may want to include this also on this site. I was just thinking that one of the things that people may be asking themselves is, why should I pay for this when Bill gives away so much good information for free on the YouTube channel? So you should say that there's a lot of information we should put a a PS on the end of the site that says, PS, there's a lot of information here that you do not, you will not find for free on my YouTube channel. Okay. So that'll be good to do. Um, what else here? Um, so we got the voiceover questions. We got now. What about all of the, all of the uh, regular fast tracks that you've been recording? 
Yeah, yeah we, we got, got a bunch, bunch of them. them. Uh, well, that actually, actually, we just need to create, create the site. Tell, all, tell so Stanley good. we just need to duplicate what we have for 100 VO questions. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. All right. And we're going to throw those up there. And the nice thing is that, um, you know, you now have how many, at least three or four of those recorded, right? Yeah, yeah I, think I think I've got four in the can. can. So what we can do is, you know, if people sign up and want to see the past events, we'll put them all up. Yeah. yeah. Just give them a boatload of stuff to look at. I like, I like it. It's, it's another product. product. Yeah, it's another product. And it's it's easy to do because basically, Stanley just the only thing we need to do is um, you just create some of the copy and I'll create the rest of the copy and we'll just put it up. Okay, awesome. It's easy to do. Uh, and, and we, we have the speaker, speaker to voice talent, talent audio, audio too. too. Yeah, and so um, on the speaker to voice talent, uh, what we need to do there is. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking that, yeah, that's such a good topic um, for speakers. Now, you're speaking at the NSA group in February, right? Correct. Correct. Yes. yes. Now, hopefully what this will do is open you up to speaking at their national event, which when you speak at the national event, it's game over. We'll make $100,000 oh. if you do that. As, As my agent, agent I may need your help. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, but in terms You're of... You're my agent, right? <laughs> yeah, well, here's how we parlay that. Once you speak, what they usually do, what usually ends up happening, if you don't get it this summer, it might be next summer, the following summer, a year and a half from now. So what happens is they're already deciding on who's going to come to their convention in, in June or whenever, July, whenever they hold it. And they see people who speak at these local events... And what you need to do is at that event is, you know, you need to schmooze everyone and say, hey, you know, this might be something that might be of interest to the group on a larger scale. I'll bet there's a ton of speakers that have great potential, you know, as voiceover artists. You know, they're already yeah. using their voice. Why shouldn't they do it? They should have you be doing, I'll bet that if there was an event, you know, um, how any speaker can get into and make money in the voiceover business as a sideline to their speaking business. I bet that at a convention, that room would be packed. It may very well be. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think that's that's kind of the angle I should take with the event in February? I was thinking more more general and generic on how to, you know, to move your career forward with the proper skills. But I that would be easy to talk about. I, I think you've got, to, you've got to do a little bit of both. In other words, I think you show people how to use their voice. Their primary goal as speakers with you as a voiceover person is to show them how to maximize their inflection, all this other stuff with their voice. But one of the things you should drop in there as sort of a little, a little mini module is, uh, you know, how any speaker can make money in the voiceover business. Right. Because remember that most of the speakers who come to these meetings, very, very few of them. I mean, I would say, you know, a lot of, a lot of BSing goes on, but probably 20% of them make their full-time living as speakers. The, okay. the rest of this, them are doing this a little bit, you know, sporadically. So why don't we provide them a little mini module? Just give them a little and tell them that this is, you know, basically give them a, a module that says, I'm going to give you sort of a little mini course within this course, which is on how any speaker can get in the voiceover business. And then just say, if you need more information, just check out speaker to voiceover, you know, to voicetalent.com. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. cool. Yep. And what you may want to do is prepare almost a separate handout for that mini module that you do. And so let's say you have your regular handout, right? So now right. what you do is, is you ask somebody, Avish, just say to Avish, hey, Avish, you know, at, at 45, how long are they giving you to speak? I Actually, I don't even know that right now. Well, whatever amount of time they give you to speak, have a separate handout that is, you know, that up at the top says how any speaker can get into and make some extra money in the voiceover business and have it be, you know, one sheet with, you know, four basic points, really simple little handout, and then the URL, uh, speaker to voice talent.com down there somewhere, and just say if you want more information, go to this site, but give them a little mini course. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Great. Great. I love it. Sort of course within a course there. Yeah. yeah. Well, well that's, that's and that's my element too. And I think you're right. They'd probably love that kind of information. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, yeah. So that's good. So now we've got 
and again, make sure and summarize. A ta you're taking notes on what I'm, I'm saying to do with a bunch of these different points so that we can get them all done. I right? am. I am. Good. And then just send me a copy so I can remind myself as well. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else that's pressing. But, you know, Bill, once we have, you know, the fast track up there, we got the 100 voiceover questions. We'll have this event, which will be recorded. That will be a product. I mean, we're going to start to have some products here. Yeah, 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 yeah it's, it's really starting to fill out. out. Uh, it's starting, starting to get exciting. exciting. Yeah, it is because, you know, once, you know, I want to get it to the point where you say, yeah, we got, you know, $3,000 in order this week on product alone, Yeah, you know, which I don't think is unreasonable at all. And yeah. uh, shoot, you know, that, that becomes where you're going to tell me now I'm in, I'm enjoying this a lot more than having to work my butt off to do all these demos. It's forever. a lot of work. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. But, it's, you but, know, but the initial, nice to make some extra money. Yeah. The initial work, it, once you get yeah. these products up and once we have a template, sort of like for 100 VO questions, I mean, this, right. this template of sales page here and then members log in here with all the stuff just sort of dumped in their lap. I mean, how, how bad can that be? Yeah, <laughs> right. I mean, shoot, that makes it really, really, and it's really easy for Stanley to do. And you just, you know, we have a system where it's just boom, boom, boom. And this is, I mean, all the products we do like this from now on because it makes it just so brainless. There's no fulfillment involved. It's just on a site. It's, it's, it's easy. Yeah. 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 I like it. Yeah. And so let's see, is there anything else here we need to discuss? I'm trying to think. I don't want to, um, I, I think that's it. I think that our, our major effort, though, should be focused on trying to put as many butts in seats as we can for that Vegas event. And um, now, did you, by the way, um, this might, did I, I, did I tell you about the New York event that I'm having with Bob Bly? Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, well, I saw, I saw the website. website. Well, let me tell you this. Um, in the event that, you know, uh, and I, I know this is sort of an absurd statement to make. In the event that you don't have anything big going on that weekend or nothing better to do and want to come into New York, um, we would, uh, I'd be delighted to have you and and have you, you know, you know, do a little thing. And I'll bet we may get some orders from that as well. Because that'll be sold. What, what's, what, what weekend is that? that? Uh, is it the, hmm, hold on, 25th and 26th of the, I think, hold on here. Right. Oh, I already put it up here. Hold on. Twenty-five and twenty-six of January. Okay, let me check that out. Because it'd be good. Because I'll use you as a guinea pig, and then we can probably sell some of the stuff that you have. Okay. Now, for example, like what I would what I'd lead off with is this: is I'd say, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have you identify yourself. And I'd say, hey, you know, I'm one of my clients in the audience here um, who's doing fairly well. But I wanted to ask you before I started, how many of you feel you have a pretty good speaking voice? <laughs> what percentage of the hands do you think go up? Yeah, 95, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe 80. Okay. okay. And so then, and then, then all of a sudden, well, let me introduce you to, to Bill Deweese. I'll give you a little bit of background. And then I just have you stand up and say, you know, I say, well, Bill's in the business of, of teaching people how to get into and succeed in the voiceover business, no matter if you're a beginner or, or already been in the business as a voiceover artist. So Bill, could you stand up and just give people a little bit of your experience with how we got together and what your progress has been and, and how, you know, how you're doing right now and what all that kind of stuff. And I would say, Oh, and by the way, if you want to talk to Bill about the voiceover business of the breaks, he'll be around. So just talk to him. You, you will conveniently have some order sheets there. <laughs> it just so happens. Yeah, just so happens. Um, so I think that that's, you know, if you can make it, that'd be great. Um, bring Vicky, have a nice weekend in New York and, you know, show up for that thing and you don't have to stay for the whole thing, but I'd love to have you there. Um, Vicky can come, you know, just see if you can do it or Mallory, whatever, whoever you want to bring. Yeah. 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 I'll, let me check it out. Cool. cool. That would be, that would be fun. Okay, cool. So now here's the deal. Um, I am, uh, going to head back to California tomorrow. Christmas starts. Now, do you guys have everything, uh, locked up and prepared for that yeah yeah, yeah we're, we're heading out to ohio this friday and then um starting the celebration there this weekend and then here at home over christmas with our family our so, kids so now 
in Ohio for mom or she's with you? I forget. Uh, no, my mom's in Ohio and Vicky's parents are in Cincinnati, Ohio. So we'll make the trek from Columbus to Cincinnati and see everybody. That'll be good. Well, hey, have a yeah. happy. Now, my schedule is this, just so you know. I will have sporadic internet coverage from, and you may want to make a note of this, from December 28th through January the 4th or 3rd, I think it is. So, you know, December the 28th through January the 3rd. I think I'll come back on the 4th. Uh, I'm out on the cruise, and then, so then when I'm back, I'm in New Orleans, I'm at a hotel, I have internet coverage, and I have cell phone coverage. 